hey welcome to my journey i thought the day we would just ride around and chat a little bit because it is saturday and i'm thinking i got the the itch to get out one more time before i'm stuck in the house for a month and so i'm going to go up here to the vv hadn't been to the vv and gosh at least two months if if not more at least and i don't feel like going to, i want to go to um salvation army in salisbury but i don't feel like driving to salisbury so i'm not going to go there but i'm going to go to vv and maybe my favorite little goodwill i don't need anything there's nothing i need but i might see some halloween something or i don't know who knows but listen i'm getting excited it's just getting so close i just don't know i just don't know y'all oh. but anyway i don't think i know nothing else <laughs> i figured maybe we would just do it this way instead of going home and doing the haul because i really don't plan on buying much then we can just haul it right here in the front seat so that's it I don't know nothing from since when we talked yesterday. I don't think I said everything I got to say yesterday. We had biscuits this morning. Hearty biscuits. Yeah, we did. I told David, I said, I believe we're going to need hearty biscuits. So, that's what we had. I couldn't eat all mine. Never can. But what I did eat went down real good. The Hardy's has good... I don't know why we don't go to Hardy. Well, I do know why we don't go to Hardy's more because it's a little more out of his way than Bojangles. Bojangles is just right off of the exit when he gets off the interstate, and Hardy's he has to come on down the town to get there. He said they was backed out in the road. I said, yeah. Listen, around here, I don't know if y'all got Hardy's in y'all's towns. I know some people's got the Carl's Jr., and that's the um, same thing, same company. Um, but around here, the seniors love to go to Hardy's and socialize. Like when we was in high school, we would go to the Prince, the Prince of Pizza. And that's where we would sit around, socialize, out in the parking lot, socialize. Or we'd go to the Pizza Hut when they got the Pizza Hut after the ball games, after the football games, we'd go to Pizza Hut. Well, around here, the senior citizens goes to um oh can I go this way yeah Hardy's and I think it's because well first of all it's, it's good and then I think they get free um drinks I think they give senior citizens free drinks so they can just buy their little biscuit and get a free coffee and then they all know each other so they sit around and chit chat and when you go in they'll table to table to be talking to each other it's, it's great I love it so but yeah he said they was backed out in the road the parking lot was full I said yeah well where they got it is in such a small little place they don't have much room for a big line so but anyway we got it it was good so let me oh you can recycle cans there I never knew that of course, we don't get enough cans to recycle, but that's interesting to know. Very interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to hush up now and just pick this up if I get anything. Well, I finished up in the VV, and this let me be the one to tell you. They are crazy. <laughs> they have changed. Oh, my gosh, they have changed. They are not a cheap find some fun junk store they got a lot of new stuff and their old stuff is priced outrageous i found one thing and it is this i put a spell on you it was one oh it was two it was 2.99 it was from marshall so i know it costed more than that but i thought i could find somewhere to put that in with my halloween stuff now i will either leave this if i'm lazy or i will maybe put a uh, Halloween ribbon on it just depends on how lazy I am to go out there and dig out my ribbon 
we shall see when I get home. Um, now I'm going to run down here to my favorite little Goodwill. It, it's my favorite because you can still paw through their stuff. They they have the back walls where their like stuff is, you know, just stuff. And it's all piled in there, and you can dig through it and everything. And their prices are not bad at all. So, even though it's small, oh, I'm sorry, this is a bouncy, bouncy parking lot. Even though it's small, it's still my favorite one. Oh, we got late traffic. Oh, I hope this don't bother y'all. It's a little bit warm. Is my head in this? Um. I looked at cookbooks. I I see nothing, which you know saves me money and trouble trying to find where to put them. <laughs> I do have some empty spots. I rearranged. I'm all the time rearranging the cookbooks to make it better. And when when I get something that adds in to a existing collection that makes that collection expand, then I have to hey please don't pull out there. He was just driving forward and looking the whole other direction. People makes me nervous. I don't know about y'all, but the older I get, the more nervous I get. That's why I drive all the time. Well, first of all, it's a control issue. I, I have control. <laughs> I have control issues. And second of all, I, David, I've told y'all before, y'all know he's a professional driver. He's an excellent driver. Oh my gosh, he's an excellent driver, but he still makes me nervous. And he drives a car like he's still in the big truck. It's hard for him to turn it off, so he makes these big, wide turns. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, unless I'm just tired or don't feel like messing with it, I drive everywhere we go. But I like driving. So, they don't bother me at all. I like just getting in my car and driving. I let him drive to the mountains because, you know, that that's his job. To drive vacations. But I would have driven it. Gladly, I would have driven it. When we go get Sebastian, I drive up and I drive back. I take that 10-hour drive. I sure do. Like I said, I like driving. Well... We are here to the Goodwill. You see, that is not far at all. The other road. That is not far at all. I think there's not a lot of people in the thrift stores today because everybody's at yard sales. Because this this is kind of empty, and the one up there is kind of empty. So that's fine by me. I don't have any cash to go to yard sales, or else I'd go out and try to find me a few. So let's go in here and see if we can find anything. Okay, you're gonna hear road noise because I'm out here in the parking lot. But I'm going to show you I found this Paula Dean and Friends um, family favorite recipes. I actually found a Paula Dean book I didn't have. So I got that. And the reason I'm back here is because I got these. Y'all remember these? The strands? Well, I'm going to hot glue this back together. And the top, I'm going to hot glue it back together. So this one was five. And I'm just going to leave this upside down. This one, which I'll show you is wider, was six. And we'll finish talking in the car. So, I got those just because I think they're cool. Oh! Before I forget, look. I have not showed you my ear bobs today. Check them out! It is spooky season in my world. But, um, I love those things. You know, they're from back, what, in the 80s? W were they popular in the 80s? I, I think so. Um, but I think they're very cool. And so, I got them to put, I brought in, I have two succulents that are really taking off. I don't even know what they're called, but they're beautiful. And they've really taken off. Well, I went ahead and brought them in so I could... Oh, somebody's having a barbecue dinner next Saturday. I believe David's going to have to go. I'm going to have to look that up. I went by it so fast. It might be this school down here. 
hold on, let me look and see if there's a sign. Hmm. I don't see no signs, but somebody's having barbecue. I'll look at it, I'll find out. Um, so you can come get us a plate. Oh, I'll tell you that in a minute, too. Listen, my mouth is dry and my lips are feeling goobery. Ugh. But I brought them two succulents in. I put one on each table. I had two tables out there, four chairs, a table in between them. Because I wanted to put my, um, my fall flowers out there. So, I had to bring them in. And, and where I sit them is in front of my sliding glass doors. And I just sit them on the floor. But when I saw these, and one's taller than the other, so that'll be perfect. I thought that would look a lot nicer than with them sitting on the floor, which I don't mind. That's where they sit all last year. Actually, all last year and the year before, I had those um, peace lilies. Well, I killed them all this summer. I put them out on the porch because they had to get out of my house. They were they were overtaking my kitchen, and I couldn't. I just couldn't stand it no more. So I, I said I'm just gonna put them out there and just let the chips fall where they may. Well, the chips <laughs> the chips fell all right. <laughs> They're dead as doornails. They're gone. So anyway, my succulents would be fine inside over the winter, and I just thought that would look a whole much uh, nicer with them standing up. And they'll be beside my little tree, which I already have decorated for Halloween, by the way. I did think they'd be pretty on the porch, but they'd be more useful in the house. So, I don't think I'm going nowhere else. I don't... I know, this is kind of new territory for me, but I got out. I, want, I wanted to get out. I wanted to go to the VV. I went to the VV. I didn't see nothing. I went to my Goodwill. I got what I got. I think I'm kind of done. So, um, it's not lunch time, but I'm, I'm working on a, a taste of home recipe that I'm making for lunch. And it is a yet to be determined time when it's coming up, but I knew I needed to film it before surgery. So that's why I'm filming it today. Then for supper, I am filming, oh, well, y'all done seen this by the time this video goes up. That, that ship has sailed. I don't even know why I'm talking. I, never mind all that business. Y'all done seen it. But I'll tell you this, um, David's dispatcher, who is also Holly's mother-in-law, she's bringing us a meal on Sunday, the Sunday after surgery. So I thought that was nice of her. I told David, tell her don't do too much because she's extra. When she does something, she she's extra. Let me just tell you. There is no telling what all she's going to bring us. Unless she tones it down, like I told David to tell her. She don't have to go to all that trouble. She really don't. Just bringing us something that, that's just nice, you know. So, that'll help David. And then if he can get a barbecue plate on Saturday, he won't even have to cook the weekend. Listen, he's so excited. Last night, he knew he was getting a week's vacation. Even though he was going to be tending to me, that was a week's vacation, and he said he really needed it. So, bless his heart. He, he never takes a vacation for him. He always will work and get paid for working and paid for vacation. So, he'll work his vacation days just to get extra money. He's just, that's just him. So, I guess it works out kind of good that I need him he can get a whole week off. So he's out in the building today. He's having fun. He's having a good time. But I got two recipes to film today. So I don't need to be out plundering around anyway. One for lunch, one for supper. So, all right, well, that's it. I've done showed you everything. I'm just a couple blocks from the house. So that's all I'm gonna talk about. Um, this just be one of the little short and sweet videos. Oh, you know what? I should go in there and get some ice and a drink. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get my ice for my ice packs. Because I think David's going to have his things out of the freezer today, I think. So I'll have my freezer room back. And, um, because our ice maker is not going to keep up. 
with um, how much ice I'm going to need on my knee. So let me go in there. And I feel like a drink. My, the way my mouth feels, I feel like a drink. So I'll be back. Well, I apparently left my camera running the whole time I was in there. <laughs> but this is my little corner store. When I talk about running to the corner store, this is it. Gales. Gales Mini Mart. Listen, what used to be on the, on this lot right up here in the corner was a little old wood shack. And that's where we used to ride our bicycles to to buy a sack full of candy for nothing. I mean nothing. And the side of the wall, she's she's got her a paint job now. It's almost like a graffiti art on the side and, and everything's um the, the same color. She's she's decorated it up. It said established 1980, so I guess that's when she built the building that she's in now was 1980. So I don't know who owned the little wood shack, but there was no gas there. But that's where we always used to ride our bicycles up to get the candy. Across the street, what is now a restaurant that has been for years and years and years, was the Quick Pick. That's where we would ride our bicycles to get um, cinnamon toothpicks. Y'all remember cinnamon toothpicks? My mom um, used to make me some with the red hots. Yep. Good times. Good times. So I am now pulling onto my road right here in a second. Woo, if y'all can see my yard, y'all will see how bad it needs to be mowed. <laughs> so looky there, I'm home. That's how close. That's how close. So that would do it for my oh Lord, let me get this off of me. For my trip today. I um I told you I can't I can't go by my side mirrors. I try, but I get too close to the house. I almost take the side of the house out. Okay, I hope he's got his little things out of the freezer because I gotta put my ice somewhere. So anyway, that concludes this trip. Not sure when you're seeing this. I figure while well, I got time to film and time to edit, um, I'll put some things up for when I'm not maybe feeling up to it and I still have some videos up. So y'all probably seeing this probably the week after surgery, probably. So, all right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this weirdo little video and I will see you when I see you.